then we need we'll be using a transaction me2o to supply the raw materials to vendor okay system will suggest here as per the po we have created how much of raw materials we need to supply it but you can supply any raw material to vendor in any quantity and there would be no fi entries here because the same way in the consignment process we are receiving the material from the vendor but that is the vendor's material here in this case we are sending a material to the vendor but it's our material so there is no financial entries it's still in our books so books does not get changed okay so this would be the post goods issue you would be doing here rather than post goods receipt because you are sending the material so it will send your material to the subcontracting vendor okay your material would be sent to the subcontracting vendor again you need to understand this process here you have a po subcon po for 50 pieces to produce 50 pieces it require 500 kg of sugar let's say which you need to send it to vendor will you be able to send with this me2o transaction will you be able to send it 5000 kg of sugar so this is the important concept i want you to make you understand that in me2o process with the subcontracting vendor when you would be sending some materials to the subcontracting vendor although in this transaction it is showing us the purchase order but we don't send the materials against the purchase order reference why there is a reason this subcontracting vendor which you are having here so you can have a different different po you can have a po1 you can have a po2 you can have a po3 or po4 four different purchase orders are there okay for different different materials and for everything the sugar is required for all of these sugar sugar is required so rather than you doing a four transaction for this po also this po also this po also this po also four transaction you will time do the four time of goods issue to them you would say that i send the material together and that would be happening in many cases right now the uh, subcon uh, po is 50 pieces you say that 500 kg sugar does not make sense to me to send this is a continuous supplier you always send a 20 ton truck you always send a 20 ton truck to the supplier okay because you know that i would be sending a i would be having a more pos in the coming days more subcontracting purchase orders are there it's my material i'm just putting it at the vendor end and it will get consumed so i need to make sure that i also uh, optimize my transportation cost which is uh, taking to send the material so rather than 500 kg i know that sugar would be the material which would be keep on consuming i would be having more subcontracting purchase orders so i will get it consumed it so rather than 500 kg i will send 20 ton although i will use this po and against this po system said 500 kg is required i would be changing the quantity i would be sending 20 ton okay then when you will be having more purchase order system would be sending telling you that now we have a five different purchase order and system will tell you whether the based on this purchase order vendor need a more material or vendor already have a material so me2o is just a report which shows you that a particular material does as per the purchase order it would be shortfall for the vendor or vendor already have it that give us thus just a identification but when we send the material we can send the more material or we can send the less material because it's our own material if we go with the purchase order if you have 10 different purchase order 10 time you need to do goods issue goods issue goods issue goods issue but that will not be doing you will be just sending a one truck right so that is the important thing you need to understand me2o although we do the transaction against the purchase order here it looks like but it's not a entry against the purchase order it's just a mego transaction we are doing actually transferring from our stock to the vendor subcontracting stock so you can send the more materials you can send the excess quantity that also would be very practical case